the Valley of Promise, a career where God sleeps? Nobody would have believed me back then that all their different names, in truth, described the same. But for this reason, it was me, the unimportant stray, who found it. I traveled alone, as I always did. Since if I were to be betrayed, my journey would have become a race against those with more money and power. And then I did my first step onto a Korean ground. I thought that this would be my biggest adventure, but how big it would be, I could have never known. like it's gonna explode. <sighs> Just how did I get... <gasps> what is this? That stone. When it crashed into me, didn't I... Did I die? <sighs> no. <laughs> no, that can't be. I'm standing here right now. But I shouldn't try removing it. Whatever. As long as I'm still alive, that's all that matters. Like they always said, Farron, you will probably survive anything. But I better not keep pressing my luck. So time to leave. Wait. Are those... fresh animal tracks? Weird. Some look almost like tiny boots. And are those claw marks? Did someone bring me here? But who could have done that? I came alone. <laughs> now that's what I call helpful. Don't know how accurate this is, but I should definitely map this out. At least it gives me some landmarks. This is... my sword. But how is it rusted already? <sighs> Maybe the merchant ripped me off. What are they all doing here? Golden Order? The Black Claw Clan? Even the Church of the Observer. There were no signs that they found the valley as well. All the more reason to leave. Hoped it wouldn't be necessary, but I think I should change into my helmet. I don't think any animal is stupid enough to be this noticeable. I could follow it. Well, I don't know the way anyway, so how bad can it get? Another one. Seems like these shrines were important to their creators. Otherwise, they wouldn't have survived for who knows how long. Always good to see one of them. Hmm, so not everyone is dead. What a bother. Um, hey! Uh, hola! Salve! <laughs> I don't want to disturb you in your business, but do you know a way out of here? I suppose you don't. I guess I shouldn't even have tried asking. Oh, a forge! Well, my sword probably won't hold up much longer. But I never was that good at forging. With the blueprint... Huh, not too shabby. Maybe I should have considered another job than journeying. Probably less dangerous, too. <laughs> Who am I kidding? As if I could ever sit still long enough. Hey, you. Still not feeling like showing yourself? Thought so. Even if you'd stop helping me now, I couldn't blame you. Well, but... Thank you. While following you is not the best plan I've ever had, it's better than nothing. Oh, my compass! Oh, my friend! At least you aren't broken. Seems like the Golden Order understands your importance, seeing as they kept you. 
With you, it shouldn't be that hard to find a way out of here. <clears throat> a closed gate. Hmm. But it seems like you want me to go through here? Well, luckily you've got the best explorer at your service. One of the front parts is missing. Some kind of mask? Maybe if I find it and insert it here, it could trigger an opening mechanism. Hey, any clue where that could be? <laughs> I knew it. Always the same with these doors. An invisible guide, forgotten ruins with cryptic doors. Maybe I should come back someday with better equipment. But then, no touching crystal spires. And so, the mysterious guide finally reveals himself. It is I, Boji, apprentice to the greatest sage of Akria. But don't confuse me for just anyone. No, you stand before the first and only disciple of Eri, the great sage. So, you want to leave this valley? Well, that won't be easy, as you, my fellow adventurer, are now bound to this valley by the stone in your chest. And leaving it like this would be your certain doom. But fear not, there is someone who can remove that connection, though the way to him is long and hard. Beyond that gate waits a trial, your test, to see if you'll be able to make the journey to your savior. But first, you'll have to find a way behind the gate. Many obstacles stand in your way, but I believe you'll prevail over them. Each foe more dangerous than the last before you finally stand before your first trial. The general, the gatekeeper. Only when you best him will the path out of this region open, and you'll be able to continue your search. A hard battle, promising only certain death. That is for anyone but you. The very same stone that curses you to stay is the one that blesses you with infinite lives. And for me, it's the tool that makes it possible to revive you again and again, just like I did before. Now that everything... Wait, what the hell are you even talking about? Not being able to leave the valley... And that part about you reviving, do you mean to say I died? Exactly. So, now that all questions are out of the way... You it... don't make any sense. <laughs> Why should I believe you, a talking wolf monster? <sighs> I see you are still riddled with doubts, but you will find my words proven true when you continue on your way. It seems you have much to think over, so I will give you a bit of space. Oh, but don't worry. I won't leave for too long. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. <clears throat> now that everything is explained, I'm sure you're burning to start your adventure, and I'm not going to keep you. Remember, the fiend behind that gate is your goal. Boji out. Just... what was that? Go to that gate, he said. Hmm. I suppose it is better than no direction. Uh, hey, you said your name was... Boji? Care to tell me who built these giant temples? They are truly... Oof, astounding. Though I wonder how big their egos must have been. Oh, massive! Believe me! Especially that of the one who ruled this place. These temples were built for the Elysine, a culture that lived here way before your time. Elysine? But why is everything so... big? Well, because they were gigantic. Almost two to three times your size. Two to three? That is hard to imagine, particularly with you next to me. Understandable, but I tell the truth. They were truly impressive. Not only their bodies, but also often their minds. Most of them were alchemists, you know? Alchemists, huh? Probably believed themselves to be above everything else. Most of them did. Yes. How unsurprising. <sighs> Beyond the gate waits your first trial, but the way is barred. Yeah, you don't say. <sighs> Do I really have to go there? Why can't I just leave? Because you are bound to the valley, Farron. 
Really? I wouldn't recommend it. Whoa! Where did you come from? And how do you know my name? You said it yourself? In the cave? But trust me, you can't leave. Not without losing your life. And this time it would be permanent, because I wouldn't be able to follow you as I am bound as well. The closer you get to the border, the weaker you get. Your heart slows down, your spirit fades, until you do your last and final step over the border. But then what am I supposed to do? I told you, didn't I? There is someone who can break that connection. Someone I want to reach as well, though for other reasons. Then tell me where to find him instead of giving me some riddles about a guardian I have to be. Your savior sleeps in the spire in the middle of the valley. The one that blasted you away, remember it? But I can't enter it. And you can't do it either. Not the way you are now. But that barrier around it... What does this have to do with me? That's a long story. I'll tell you on our way to the gate. Because we really will have to beat that guardian creature behind it. We? No, no. There is no such thing as we. I don't plan on carrying a burden with me. Oh, a burden? Without that burden, you would still be lost, though. Trying to escape the valley which would kill you. That is, if the others don't. And who will revive you again if that happens? <laughs> Just spit it out. You need me. For whatever reason. Yes, I do. And it is a reason I will explain if we travel together. Besides, we have the same destination, so why wouldn't we? Isn't it useful for you to have a guide who knows his way around here? Uh, uh, I can't believe it. Fine. Do what you want. Let's go! Wait for it. Out. Out, 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 out. Harder. Carefully. With feeling. Okay, quench it. Not bad. Not bad at all. This doesn't look like the other structures these Elysine have built. Oh, it reminds me of... The Central Spire? Yes. Seems like Tezuth, the ruler of this area, built this so the Acreans could still continue their rituals under his rule. Wait, Acreans? Who are they? Oh, true, you wouldn't know. We already talked about how the Elysine who lived here were gigantic, but they weren't the only inhabitants of the valley. There were also the Acreans, who resembled your people. A lot smaller. They used the central spire to release dead spirits into the flux, an energy that flows through this valley, which keeps everything alive and in balance. That seems unlikely. You don't have to believe me, but that very flux energy is what I use to vanish and appear again. Hmm. I see you're still skeptical. Well, you will come to accept it with time. Thank you, Ukrainians, for all the gifts you left the valley. Oh, looks like we can't just keep going. I was sure we would get to water split from here. Maybe we can find a way through the convergence. Just continue straight. So much for you knowing the way around the valley. If there is another way out of this region, why do I have to beat that general anyway? You said we can't enter the Spire right now, but you didn't explain why. We have to defeat the General to be able to enter Tezuth Palace. Tezuth? The one you called ruler of this place? Why should we go to him? I thought the goal was to defeat the General so we can get out of here and to the Spire. Tezuth is one of the three keys we need. Another foe we have to fight, so we can enter the Spire where our savior rests. Again, you aren't making sense. You wouldn't know what makes sense right now anyway. Go to the Convergence. I'll explain more there. There it is, the Spire. Inside our helper rests. The Sage, my master. If in deep sleep or dead, 
I do not know. Wait, he's dead? How is he supposed to help us then? And you didn't tell me we were going to your master. As I said, I do not know if he is dead. And who it was seemed of little importance to you since I don't recall you ever asking. Either way, when we are there, we should be able to revive him. But because of certain precautions, not everyone is able to just waltz into his spire. Only those who have mastered the three elements that form the core of Ekria, like Ere did, are able to enter. Which means I will never be able to go alone. Three elements? You have them in you right now. The stone in your chest is made from all three. Incium, Mananite, and Jinnan. This makes it possible for you to master them, if you beat their current masters. They each learned to control one of the elements many centuries ago. One of those is Tezuth the Champion. And that giant palace you saw that you couldn't enter? That was his. So our goal is still the same. We beat the Guardian General of the Temple so we can enter and defeat Tezuth. And afterwards, we'll find the other two masters. That sounds like a heck of a lot of work to regain my freedom. I never wanted to learn mystical powers or become master of some element. It's a responsibility I never wished for. The Sage once told me that often there is a price to freedom, but many don't know what that price will be. Some price it is to die and be forced to fight through a crazy valley with a talking wolf. I prefer to be called by my name. I believe so do you, Farron. I... I understand. Anyway, let's find another way back to the forest, and then we will find that general. So why do you need to go to that tower? You know my reason, but I don't know yours. Can't be that you want to leave the valley. The world out there isn't exactly welcoming of strangers, especially if they are, uh, well, strange. Still struggling with the talking, walking, magic wolf part? You would too if you were in my skin. So... You're right. I don't want to leave the valley. Going to my master to revive him is my duty, my task as his disciple. And what is it you want from him? What do you get for doing it? Or are you just a henchman, following the wishes of others? It's, it's nothing like that. I, I have my reasons, but... Oh, I see. You don't want to tell. Well, no need to force yourself, partner. I didn't ask before, but what were you even doing at the Spire? And even more so alone? Why, should there have been others? Regretting having me as your only option? No, but from the other humans I observed, it seems like your kind prefers to travel in packs. Packs? <laughs> humans are not like wolves, you know. Groups of people are slow and rigid, growing dependent on each other too easily. I prefer traveling on my own. That way, others don't have the chance to disappoint me. Ah, uh, I see. Is the spy that interesting? Seems like you can't take your eyes away. It is my birthplace, my home, yet it is impossible for me to enter. Doesn't look like a wolf den. What, isn't that the place where wolves are usually born? It's my second, to be precise. Your description of me as a wolf wasn't too far off. Before I lived my life as a pupil of Eri, I was a mere wolf of this valley. When I died, Eri found me and decided to revive me sending my spirit through Jinon back into my body. While he didn't anticipate how much it would change me, he seemed happy with the outcome. So the greatest pupil was created as an experiment by that great sage Ere. What he did wasn't for you, but for himself. Don't talk about him that way. You, you have no right to do so. That... I didn't mean... Do I need permission to talk about him? I'll be sure to ask next time. Beautiful, right? The river carries its name well. 
I've seen so many rivers, I stopped really looking at them. I admit, this is definitely one of the more beautiful. <clears throat> uh, we are here. What now? I think the Heaven's Climb Temple in the back is connected to the main one by a bridge. It's collapsed quite a bit, but hopefully the elevator is still working. These Elysine, you called them, right? Their buildings are all wonders. Such things can't be found outside of this valley. I guess if there was one thing that Tezuth truly understood, it was how to present himself and his people. Mm. If only he'd put that to better use. What better use than this could have been? He built something eternal, something stable and true. Someone who doesn't know the entire story would say something like that. Then tell me the story. You always keep things to yourself. And I do so for good reasons. I follow what Eri taught me, which is... Oh, sure. If you don't want to tell, don't sugarcoat it. Look at this! So this is Tezuth? It certainly is. Only he would present himself in such an overdrawn way. He seems so powerful. Can you imagine what one could do with so much power? Yes, I can more than imagine it. What would you do with such power? I don't know, but I finally would be someone. Someone that isn't laughed at for her lowly origin, not ordered around by others that believe themselves to be higher. No rules that I would have to follow. And if the rules are for the good of everyone? <laughs> You've never seen the world outside, right? There are no rules like that. Never were. Everybody just lives with themselves. Is that so? Leva needs some time to think, Farron. Alone. What? Boji? Boji! Of course, just leave. That's what everyone does in the end. But it's my fault, as always. Damn it. Oh, where is this? Am I inside a cage? If you really want to know, yes, you are inside the cage. Bertie. You came back. Never really left. Like I said, I just needed some time alone. But why? After what I... As the sage believed... Uh, no. We're only getting to know each other. And I have to admit, not everything was perfectly handled. Apart from that, it feels bad when someone you know gets captured under your nose. <laughs> Who would have thought? So... so we're fine? Well, I wouldn't exactly call it that, as you are mere hours away from your execution, but... Yeah, we're fine. And now, let's get you... out of here. Yes! We did it! Ha ha ha! What a thrill! You can say that again. You really have a knack for fighting, you know? Well, the world outside is harsh. But without you, I wouldn't even have been able to leave that cell, so... Thank you. And I am sorry for what I said about you and Ere. I accept your apology, Farron. Then, you want to renew our partnership, but this time for real. No secrets, no ill feelings, no doubts. Really? You think it'll work? We just bumped heads until now. Yes. In time, I'll tell you everything, and I'll put my trust in you. But you'll have to try and trust me as well. If we both try our best, I believe we'll manage. All right. Great, then let's go. Tezuth and his general are waiting for us. And on the way, 
you will learn everything you desire to. Ready now to tell me the reason why you want to see Ere? Yes, since that is what it means to be partners. All these humans here in the valley, they aren't good for this place. They destroy everything, both nature and buildings. They fight and kill every day. I don't know what they're even doing here, but they bring the valley out of balance. There was a barrier around the valley that hid it from the outside, but... I suppose its absence has to do with me. When you got too close to the spire, the barrier seems to have been destroyed. I hope that Eri can restore it and bring back peace to my home. I know they are your kind, so I hesitated telling you. <laughs> Don't worry. I wouldn't consider myself particularly close to those of my kind. Besides, temples of such beauty, they deserve to be treated with respect. Those who don't follow that can be booted out. <laughs> if you're already impressed by the temples now, you should have seen them back in the days when Tezuth was still ruling. They were probably in a much better shape. But for me, it is enough to see them like this. Better shape? <laughs> sure. Let's call it that. So, these giant, I mean, Elysine, who were they? Or what? The Elysine. They were led by the four most excellent of their people, who were called Tezuth the Champion, Uskal the Protector, Ingla the Seer, and finally, Ere the Sage. All the Elysine were brilliant alchemists. None of them was as proficient as these four, especially the Sage. This valley was unimaginably precious to them, for it harbors three metals of immense worth. For that, they didn't even mind sharing the valley with the Acreans. Despite their differences, surprisingly, the Acreans and the Elysine got along well. What happened then? It is a complicated story. And as such, it deserves time to be told. I will just say this much. In the beginning, all was well. But don't worry, I will tell you more later. Oh, I hate waiting, you know that? Oh yes, I'm beginning to see that. Ah, I remember the time vividly. When the first generals were created, they were ill seen like Tezuth himself. But to win the upcoming war against Uskal and Ingla, he transformed them. Not like he was the only one who had that idea, though, as the other two did exactly the same. He made those poor Elysine slaves to his will, banishing their spirits into the flux as only an energy source for the soldiers he created. Part stag, part insium, and a part of Tezuth's own spirit to control them. These generals, they sound like monsters. If they're monsters, what does that make me? In many ways, I'm the first of their kind. Since they were made after my image when Tezuth and the others first saw me. Oji. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We have a mission, remember? So, that's the general down there? He neither looks alive nor kicking. I don't mind hacking on it, but... You made this fight sound like a challenge. <laughs> that would certainly be an option, though sadly not very effective. He is fossilized, and your sword will probably break before you even scratch the surface. That is, until I awake him. It's time to follow our duty and get one step closer to Tezuth. Are you ready? It may be your duty, but for me there is no other choice in this matter, Boji. I won't be a captive to this place. So don't worry. I won't back down. You said? 
better shape. Yes. Oh, this shouldn't even be possible. Well, is it as impossible as a talking wolf? What you see now are glimpses into the glory of Tezuth's era. Beautiful, isn't it? I suppose Tezuth was that arrogant for a reason. We continue now to his palace, right? The one you first guided me to? Correct. There awaits Tezuth, and if you defeat him, you will be the sole master of Incium. Hmm. But I think I should also explore a bit now that the temple has changed. I mean, how often do you get the chance to walk over flying ruins? <laughs> well, a bit of training with your new ability certainly won't hurt. And I can't deny, I'm also curious what wonders Tezus might have hidden here. There are so many new things to explore. With your new Ensium ability, we could probably check out all those floating elements we saw before. But I guess we shouldn't forget Tezuth as well. So, what happened to them? To the Elysine, I mean. That general was fossilized. But why? Give me the story. It is a tragic, but well-known tale. After going through a ritual to change themselves and gain the powers to control their later respective metals, Tezuth, Uskol, and Ingla were slowly consumed by greed and separated the valley into three. It didn't take long before they started preparing for a war against each other, driven by their suspicions that obsessed them. The Acreans were forced to follow them into this senseless fight. What became of the Acreans, I do not know. But most of the Elysine changed their form for what was to come. To prevent a war that would destroy everything in the valley, Eri, my master, sent out a shockwave that fossilized all of those that had made a connection to one of the Acrean metals. Only I remained, since he sent me to the edge of the valley before. Is this the reason you don't know what became of Eri? Yes. He was also bound to all three metals, so I don't know what the shockwave did to him. <laughs> I already see it. No reason to hide it, Farron. You want to know what this is, right? You bet I do. Hmm. Now this behind me is an arcane forge. It was used by the Elysine to create the most powerful weapons, armor, and more. A masterpiece of creation, running with the power of Flux. Though I have to admit, I always wondered how they gathered so much of it in one place. <laughs> that sounds brilliant. Can you run it? Well, it's exhausting. But luckily for you, I can. So if you want something special, we can try crafting it here. How are you holding up with controlling Incium? It feels... Strangely natural, like it is almost a part of me. As if the time before I lacked a sense, as if I was blind. Ah, the time before is now but a dream, slowly swallowed by haze as I see clearer with every passing day. Tomorrow, the sensations of the present will follow into those same mists as I walk forward towards matters of eminence. Matters of future, now. That hit it right on the head. How do you know? I don't. Because when Eri gave me this new life, Jinon was already part of me. But this was how Eri described it, as he trained his powers every day without tiring. Why'd you put that stag helmet on back then? I, I thought the hat before looked good enough. It wasn't a question of looking good. It's kind of a superstition. It's silly, really. Go on. <sighs> Outside, we believe stags to be the protectors of the forests they live in. So their crown, the antlers, are a sign of that as well. There are many legends of great warriors who used antlers in their armor to be protected from all evil, or mythic queens and kings who used them as their headpieces. When I was a naive child, I created this helmet, wanting to be like them. Oh, you didn't grow since then. Astounding. 
Of course I grew. But every time the helmet didn't fit anymore, I made a new one. Only the antlers stayed the same. You know, that is really cute and not something to be embarrassed about. Why do you think I always wear my scarf? <laughs> Shut up, Boji. <laughs> we finally reached the gate. Do you feel prepared? As prepared as I'll ever be, I guess. If you want to leave this behind, this is your last true chance. When you defeat Tezus, nothing will be as it was before. Not just Akria, but you will change as well. We will see how much I will change. But I stand to what I said. Akria will not be my tomb. I will leave this place, no matter the cost. Then, let us not wait any longer. Let's do this, and take one step closer to the Sage. Hey, Farron, look here. It seems Tezuth spared no effort to make this place memorable. Speaking of the devil, that creature down there is him? Indeed it is. I only saw him once in this changed form. Till this day, I never understood why he did it. <laughs> Power, of course. But no matter how much he got, it won't save him when I get to him. Ha! <laughs> Luckily, the Akrian Shrine is right there. So I won't have to drag your overconfident corpse too far. You did. It was truly inspiring and a bit horrifying. But it gave me a brilliant idea how I can help you in future fights. Anyway, with Tezuth gone, you are now the true sovereign over Insium. I expected to feel different. Change can happen slowly, sneaking. The balance of the three elements is delicate. And if disturbed, it will harm you and your soul. The missing balance drove Tezuth and the others into their greed for more power, pushing them into deciding to change themselves even more, completely abandoning what they once were. What you just saw wasn't an Elysine anymore. They did this just to win one fight against each other. A duel planned by Eri as a way to end the war without using their armies. But he did not foresee how far they would go to win. I don't like the sound of that. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Because I believe in you, Farron. I believe you will be able to fight it, just like me. I will always carry only Genon within me. While you will change, if you remember where you come from and strive to always be your best, we will surely overcome anything. Now let's leave this temple. Where do we go next? Now we leave for the distant mountains of the Mananite region to find Usko. Facing him will be the greatest challenge yet, for he was the most skilled and brutal fighter. But we have no choice but to try. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go get him. Whoa, 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 hold your horses. Again, we will have to awaken his general first. Without his spirit part, I won't be able to awaken Usko. Darn, I remember. And I suppose we're going to his region first? Where's the entrance? Oh... Um, you have to admit, I don't know. I rarely left the tower. I spent my time mostly studying under Eri. Well, you are lucky to have such an experienced explorer by your side. Finding the entrance after I found the most sought-after valley in history should be a breeze. Aha! Uh -huh. Then after you. 
Why so upset? Can't you see it? If they are already here, then that means they have the farther regions under their control as well. Uh, I see. So our way has just become more difficult. We will see about that. In Fjeldalen, there were not many of the clan that could hold their own against me. They are like wolves. Only strong in packs. Oh, no offense. Oh, none taken. I must say, I sometimes wonder how someone like you was created. Well, there are bees and flowers and... And you know I don't mean that. I don't know what to tell you, Burji. My story is not that special. A young kid is born and abandoned in the same breath, only to grow up as one of many in an orphanage. That story's part of you, and as such, it is special. Especially for me. So that... orphanage? It didn't sound like you enjoyed it. Nobody likes their orphanage. Neither the kids, nor the matrons that foster them. Most kids leave the orphanage as soon as they can beg or steal good enough to earn their own food. And so did I. I... I just didn't belong there. And the matrons made sure to let me know every day. Well, except one. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, except one? Enough for now. Maybe I will tell you some other time. <laughs> Very funny, Farin. Once, when I climbed the peak of the Everfrost Mountains, I looked down. Then, for the first time, I really saw how small the city of Frosthaven is. How small humans are. Barely the size of ants. It's the same everywhere I went. I wonder if I will feel the same about Akria after our journey. Always traveling into the unknown. Isn't it scary? Sounds like you did it a lot. A lot? <laughs> I dare say there are not many places I haven't been. Many are similar, but for each that is, there's another one that is completely different. Green rainforests of Rakalmakan, the endless desert of Garama. What is your favorite place? Now that you ask, I don't know. I suppose I don't have one. Well, I guess I just don't really miss what I already know. They have nothing more for me to find. Akria, at least, still has many unexplored places. Doesn't seem like you ever plan on settling down. Settling down is for those who have left their own mark and are content. I doubt I will ever be that. Their own mark? That must be the elevator to Uskol's arena. Too bad I can't fight him yet. I think the time to prepare will come in handy. Mm. You feel the cool breeze. I do. You think there's another entrance to the region down there? I'd bet my scarf on it. So this is Maninite. It looks pretty hard. If you like your weapon, I wouldn't recommend trying to break something off it. Stable Mananite is the hardest material you can find in Akria. You won't find a scratch or a crack in it. So, I'll look for small rocks to take with me. Got it. Man, my collection grows and grows. Uh, your backpack is at your service? That was always the worst part about traveling. Having a giant bag on your back while you're trying to fight, roll in the dirt. So thank you for carrying everything, Boji. <sighs> we definitely won't get to Uskol this way. We have to find his general first anyway. And there is a second entrance to his arena in the Mananite region, as far as I've heard. I don't want to get too excited yet, knowing our luck and all. Let's look for the gate. The cold winds got stronger. Uh, no sun, no birds singing, no beautiful fresh green grass. I already miss the outside. We just entered here. Not a cave fan, I take it? They are dark, oppressive, most of all, <sighs> wet. It makes my fur clammy, so I look like a wet cat. <laughs> what? Nothing. Just imagined it. Hmm. Always glad to amuse you. <laughs> Uh, they can't be destroyed. Won't break. The ceiling won't come down? Without any doubt. 
since they are made from mananite. Ere taught me so. How reassuring. I would trust your word more than his, since you're my partner. Oh, finally outside. Huh. I thought I was the one who hates caves. I don't hate them, but that doesn't mean I enjoy my time surrounded by walls. It makes me want to break them. Break walls? You'd be surprised how often a wall can be destroyed. Anyway, it seems we found something we agree on. Maybe we did. Let me guess. That up there is his arena? Yes. Though I have to admit I've never been there. As I told you, Eri avoided Usko when he could. You called him tasteless, to be precise. Uskol and his people enjoyed fights and brawls immensely, even before his transformation. There wasn't a day where he would go without testing the limits and pushing against his perceived obstacles. Pushing against obstacles. That is something I know. Sometimes brawn is as necessary as brain. But in the end, that brawn is what pushed Eri away from Uskol. Mm, too bad. Imagine if the two had worked together. They would have been unstoppable. But alas, without trust, there was no chance of that. What is it like, having seen so many places? <laughs> it is an indescribable experience. With every new place I saw, it was like I was discovering a new part of me as well. But I was never satisfied in the end, so I packed my things and wandered again. It was exciting, knowing that no matter how much I saw, there was still something new waiting for me. When you talk about it like that, it makes leaving Akria sound exciting. Maybe you should, when Ere is back. What an idea! Do you think a talking wolf would be welcome out there? Someone who was called a monster, even by a world traveler like you. I... Just joking. You think I still worry about that? It is only natural to fear what you don't know. I will stay with Eri, my teacher and savior. Since Akria is my home, the place I love more than anything, everything will be as it should. Already? Hmm, surprising. But this is a good thing. As with the stag, this general should carry part of Uskol's spirit. We will need it to wake him. That's a big bear. But I guess I should be thankful that we don't have to search for him. Do your thing, so I can fight him. Ha! <laughs> Such a diligent student. You are really becoming a master of the ancient... Oi! <sighs> Shut up, Boji. me pounding pounding you mean how you felt drawn to Ensium around you not quite it's more like the Mananite is calling to me like it's alive but not every Mananite only those that glow okay well Mananite in its second state is quite active then let's see what you'll be able to do with this calling Mananite. There's definitely enough around here for you to experiment. Bertie! The ice is melted! And it's become warmer! Oh, I remember! Mananite in its other unstable state gives off heat! Yes, that would indeed explain a lot. Because by beating the general, we once again reverted some effect of the shockwave from Eri. That means things will look different again? I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Time to explore. <laughs> I feel the same. But don't forget we have a mission. We only have to find an entrance to Uskol's arena now. 
We saw so many patches of Mananite in the Everforest and the Convergence. I guess we could go there now if we want to. That certainly looked intense. It was amazing. I can't believe how strong I feel. It's as if I can apply a lot of force by tensing a muscle in the land. You're tensing muscles in stone. <laughs> well, at least it'll help us get around all those mountains and cliffs. The structure of this building, it feels familiar. Hopefully it's just my imagination. Boji, what is this place? Well, I have to admit that I have no idea. I heard rumors in the past that Uskol was building something big, but I've never seen the end result. We will see what it is either way. I feel a bit uneasy. Don't you get sick on me, Farron West. Oh, but if you did, I would care for you. Eri taught me how to make an otherworldly tea. Heartberries, green fern, iraca claws. Hmm. <laughs> Upset, are we? What is it? Hmm. Seems like we're up on some sort of balcony. That's not... that's not it! Don't you see this? A scratch on an ancient ruin. What's so special about that? Don't you remember what I told you? Eri taught me that Mananite is indestructible. So this scratch... it shouldn't exist. Well, it does. And I'd rather trust my eyes than others' words. Yeah, easy for you to say. Boji, look around you. I was right. We are on a balcony. And not just anyone's, I believe. You told me Usko liked fighting. Well, apparently he loved it enough to build a damn Colosseum. We already suspected it before. But... A Colosseum? What is that? Outside. This is a place where people fight to the death. Some for glory and some for their freedom, but most for money. And Uskull definitely wanted to have the best view of it. That sounds like him, but it doesn't explain the scratch. You said he was strong. Well, what if he was strong enough to defy what you knew? What if he didn't give a damn about your rules? He changed himself, right? Became one with Mananite? Still, that shouldn't make this possible. If he could do that, what kind of monster did he become? We will find out. These Colosseums... You, you sounded very upset. If you don't mind, can you tell me more about them? I want to learn what Usko did here. People visit a Colosseum to watch for fun how desperate humans fight against each other or animals. Often to the death. Making entertainment out of bloodshed. I just can't stand the sight of it. Especially if some of those desperate warriors just fight to regain their right of freedom. That sounds horrible. I'm not surprised that Uskol and his followers took a liking to this, but... I wonder how he got the idea. Did you ever fight in one? Sometimes. Whenever I really needed to earn some money. I greatly disliked it, but... You don't know how hard it can be to just live out there. I always tried to make it short. Painless. But in the end, it doesn't change what I did. So don't get your hopes up, Boji. I am not a good person. In the end... I just closed my eyes to their miseries, like everyone else. If that is what you believe, even so, I won't blame you for what you did. You didn't fight for spectacle, which sadly probably was the reason Usko did all this. Do what you want. This is definitely, I mean, this should be the elevator to Usko. But 
How are we going to open it? Well, I can already tell you how Uskal did it. Hmm. Don't even think about it. Have you seen that door? No way will I be able to lift it. Uh, you're probably right. There is Mananite under there, but... It doesn't feel alive like its other form. I won't be able to do anything with it. Is there a way to change it back? Make it glow? I can't. But you should be able to do it. Wait, why me? You can control Mananite now while I can't. I will teach you how to channel the Flux to make such strong changes. But first, you'll need a lot of Flux to be able to do it, and... Well, there isn't enough around here. Is it possible to fill Flux into, I don't know, a container or so? Do such things even exist? Yes, they do. And I wouldn't be surprised if Uskol had some, seeing that he would have probably used a lot of Flux. <sighs> Searching an entire region for a Flux container. Sounds like we are trying to find the needle in a haystack. Any idea where we could start? Not a safe bet, but I heard Uskol had gigantic mines. Down there, he wouldn't have had a lot of access to the Flux, so... so maybe down there we'll find one. Oh, nice thinking, Boji. Let's go and look for those mines. Just how did he do it? Maybe if he... No, that still wouldn't explain it. <sighs> still the scratched Mananite? It really got you that much. Well, you'd feel the same if something you always thought you knew was suddenly wrong. Would I? I'm not sure. I mean, the one thing I truly know is that you normally can't trust in anything. Be it other humans, rules, and especially the government. If you never trust anything to begin with, you aren't really that surprised if something changes. Ah, you just don't get it. <sighs> never mind then. Looks like we found the entrance. <sighs> it feels like the mountain is calling to me. Uh, hopefully we won't have to search for too long. I don't believe in such things. But maybe you have just jinxed us. This... Is this what became of the Akrians under Uskol? Miners and Colosseum fighters. Their lives were those of slaves. Didn't you say the Elysine and Akrians got along? In the beginning. I knew that when the Elysine changed, they began to view the Akrians as lesser beings, but I never thought they were being treated like this. Eri couldn't have known, right? If he had, he would have done something sooner, surely. Oji, a Colosseum isn't built in a day. Such changes don't happen overnight. I know. But he was always there for me. <clears throat> I will ask him myself when he is awake. Whatever his reasons were, don't worry. The only thing you can accuse him of is not caring for something that wasn't his fault in the first place. As he didn't change his kind into these power-hungry monsters. If only it was that easy. I must say, Uskol himself may have been tasteless, but his minds... I know, very impressive. For former nomads, the Elysine developed a great understanding of architecture. But it also helped they had a lot of time to learn it, after settling in Akria. But no matter how great they were, it doesn't excuse how they treated the Akrians. You're right. Most of the time, such grand constructions are built to be a display of power. Same in my world. And while I am lucky for being able to see them now, knowing what it's like to live among the oppressed, I feel angry. Let's concentrate on our search. This doesn't get us anywhere. <sighs> Another spire. At least Usko gave them... Oh, wait. These runes. What's with them? No. No! Uh, this spire is not to console the Akrians. The, the runes say it leads into the underground. It's a tool, an energy farm to power the forges of the Elysine. Calm down, Boji. Explain it to me. Slowly. I told you about the Akrian release ritual, right? The one they held at the central spire? 
The Akreans would free their dead spirits by throwing the object it was captured in into the geysers, which are directly connected to the flux in the land. They must have believed that this would do the same, but... But in truth, the spirits would be captured, led to the altars where they would be used to create weapons and other things. In short, their trust was misused by the powerful. I... just... Why did they have to do this? Why didn't I know? How did the Elysine become so lost? <sighs> Let's go. As you said after Tezith, I shouldn't stay in imbalance too long, lest I want to become like them. The only thing we can do now is make Usko pay. You know, Boji, it is kinda amazing. Before I got the ability, these mountains seemed dead to me. But now, everything is truly alive. This mountain here has a thousand hearts, beating in unison. Do you see any hints on the container? Not yet, but I am sure we will find it. Uh, let's hope so. If the spirits still are in that arcane forge, does it harm them? If I use it? They wouldn't be soul spirits anymore. Through all of them being in there together, Flux would have been created. And the energy won't be harmed by using the altar. Instead, I guess I would even consider it freeing them from their prison. Freeing them? It's good of you to ask, though. I wish the Elysine had thought about that, but they probably didn't. You have a good heart, Farron. Hmm. I think I'm starting to like those mountains. Despite what I said when we entered the region. Oh, I wish I could share my new ability with you. Hey, Boji? Wanna talk? Boji? You know... <laughs> oh, damn. I'm no good with these things, but... Don't worry too much. Just get me out of here. Our task is too important for us to die in some caves. We will find that container, and we will leave this place. Together. Shoot! There... there is no way. We're in a dead end. We're trapped. Quiet, Boji. I will get us out of here. Let me think. Think? Couldn't you have done that before jumping down here? I don't recall you protesting when I did. And now... Calm down. Hmm. The ice there seems to be thinner than the other walls. Ah, are you sure? I just see ice that's been here for centuries. This is not us anywhere. We're going to die down here and there's no way out. Ah, I can't hear myself think. Stop it already! Please, please stop Come it. Come on! You are in our way! Just break already! Damn it! Put us through! I have survived on my instincts for years! And if I trust in one thing, then it is myself! There are more. Farin. Trust in me, Boji. Breaking walls is not that hard. I will not give up. I will get us out of here. Even if I have to try a hundred times. Even if I have to destroy thousands of walls. I can... breathe again. You did it. Told you so. Don't doubt my instincts. Now, let's take a deep breath together. I'm sorry, and thank you. Thank me? For what? For not judging me inside there, and, uh, and for being you. I think this is the first time someone said that to me. Don't worry, Boji. When I was captured, you didn't abandon me. And since then, my judgment of you is steadfast. I won't abandon you. And besides, what would I do without my storyteller? Oh, 
So you want to hear more? Farron, there! This should be one. A flux container? Yes. Finally, things are looking up. Hmm. Can't I just take the flux into me now? No, you can't. Flux is always in movement, and always strives for balance. If you would take as much as we would need into your body, the flux would try to change the form of its vessel, you, to suit its amount. Simply put, your body would try to change itself to the needs of the flux, ending in an explosion. Understood. Lots of flux in my body equals bad. But how are we going to get back to Uskol's elevator? Behind us is still the dead end. Then we can only go forward. That is your speciality, right? Right. <sighs> Should we rest a moment? No, I'm fine, but thank you. The fresh air will get me back on my feet soon enough. Are you okay? I can still hear them. A bit. Like they are calling me back. And that call... Is it stronger than the one for freedom you talked about? No. It isn't. I feel the binding to a Kriya through the stone in my chest. And these chains I want to lose. And though these powers will stay, I suppose they aren't that bad. A good souvenir of this adventure. Impressive presentation. Looks more like a wild beast to me than a fighter. Sure that's Uskol? Well, a symbolic presentation of him. Now, are you sure you're not in the least bit intimidated by the strength of this beast? <laughs> you know how fighters measure their opponent in the arena? Not by admiring their statue, I assure you. I will know his true strength when I look him in the eyes. He is huge. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Did the Elysine build this? Or the Acreans? Chances are high that the Acreans built this. And from the murals we saw in the mines, they were probably forced. You think so? I don't know how to explain it, but these feel different. Down there, it felt like desperation and sadness, but up here, it seems so much more like admiration. Hmm. Well, it could be that the statue and the murals up here were made at the beginning of Uskol's rule. Back then, the Acreans still admired him greatly, as he was the one that tamed this region for them, making it habitable. He did? How was it before? There were no easy paths through the mountains, and those that existed were swarmed with savage bears. The deeper patches also didn't exist, as they were flooded by a raging river. Usko handled all of that. He did all of that for those he would later enslave? While Ere and Usko rarely saw eye to eye, Uskul always put the survival and lives of those weaker than him over everything else. He definitely was rough, but I believe he meant well before he changed. A true protector. Let's start. You really have to... ...concentrate... ...while channeling the flux through the stone in your chest. That way you shouldn't get hurt. Now. Don't let the flux linger inside you. Instead, send it directly to the Mananite and start changing its form. And if I do it right, I don't explode. Got it. You're still alive as well. Good work, Farron. And I thought I had my last arena fight years ago. You think now is the right time for nostalgia? One ring, one fight, one death. You know, this is the first time I won't fight alone. Ah, this seems very memorable for you. While I can't say I don't fear, Osco. You are right. This time you're not alone. Neither am I. What a 
I can, I can barely believe it. You are a beast, far and west. Oh, oh I can feel all my bones. Ah, you want a break? No, no. If I lie down now, I'll probably never get up again. But I can say this much. That statue down there, it did him justice. Now only one is left. Ingla, the seer. She is the master of Jinon, right? The element that you also have in your body. So you know some of her tricks? If she were someone else, maybe. But with her? You never know. We should be very careful on the way to her. Who knows what kind of tricks she's built into her realm. That sounds just wonderful. So this is where the Akreans held their release ritual? Yes. The pilgrimage site, and in fact, the entrance to the spire. Once every few years, all the Akreans would gather here to release the spirits into the flux. Like we do with the stones when you craft runes. Yes, but in a much greater scale. They would bring all kinds of objects that a spirit was captured in, honor them, and then drop them into the geysers. While the artificial spires from the LSE had other... Uh, uses... Here, the dead spirits would become part of the everything that is Akria. That up there is the entrance to her chambers? Looks like it. So, when you master Shinon, does it give you the power to fly? If so, this is the perfect moment to show me, Boji. I'm saving the best for last. Well, we can worry about how to get up there while searching for the part of Ingla's spirit that her general carries. Oh, but don't worry. As far as I know, Ingla couldn't fly either. So there has to be some way up there. Farron, this is the plan I talked about. I'm supposed to eat this? If you want to survive, yes. Oh, but why does it have to smell this horrible? It smells like you, but wet. You think? Well, I don't think it's that bad. Hmm, maybe it tastes better. So, finally done with playing hide and seek. Nice effort, but the result will be the same. You dead, me alive. So here you go again, so dramatic. Remember to take your medicine. small part of Ingla's spirit with me. Everything around me seems to have changed. I feel every particle around me. Even the air. There is no emptiness. All space is filled equally with existence. I feel like I will now know what those Jinon clouds really hide. Hmm. Your powers probably work much different than mine. But using them near one of the Jinon clouds sounds like a good next step. Hmm? What's this? Seems to be the Jinon Eye from the Lizard. We should take it with us, just in case. Now, let's search for an entrance to Ingla's temple. Hmm. Now, we could go to Ingla. If I just knew the way. But with your strength and my wits, we should have no problem finding it. Hey! Farin! Farin West! Are you even listening? And these towers weren't there before. Right? You're right. They were previously hidden by the Genon. Let's go explore them. Right. We will find our way. So you did listen. Oh, I can't stand the sight of them. Those... those shitty clones. Whoa, whoa. I think this is the first time I heard you swearing. Seems I'm rubbing off on you. Should I be worried? Or proud? I guess... Both. 
It's just hard to believe that such horrible things exist. It is kind of impressive from up close, but it feels very different from the original. Almost wrong. Now we know why. The spire in the middle was a sacred place. The gate between our world and the Flux. The origin of all life in Akria. How could this perversion of it ever feel the same? But what I don't understand is... Why would Eri have allowed something like this to exist? He might have had his reasons. Who knows? No matter what, he was responsible for what followed since... Since? Back in the mines, you also said something similar. You know you can talk to me. Care to share? He was the first to change himself. To use the power of the elements. While he succeeded in making a connection to all three elements, they did not. He went ahead. Inspired them to do the same, but didn't care for the consequences. Without him, none of this would ever have happened. Eri knew his responsibilities. So why? Why didn't he do anything? We will find the truth, Boji. Together. Understand your goal. Until now, hidden away. See how it comes to the light of day. The lizard eye we have should fit into the socket. Well, I wouldn't mind some help. Wait! What if this is a trap? From whom? Ingla? <laughs> I doubt it. Unless she has defossilized herself. And what do we have to lose anyway? <sighs> Don't blame me if something goes wrong. But you're right. We have no choice. certainly was helpful, though not pleasant. I'll have to hunt down those other scaly monsters as well. Seems like it. What are you thinking about? From what we saw, we can only enter the middle tower if we go and activate the other one first. Could be. Then let's go. Poisonous fog and disgusting plants. What fun. <laughs> Two down, only one to go. And we got another eye. <laughs> it feels like I haven't heard you this happy since we entered Ingla's realm. Is that so surprising? This region is suffocating me. Each step it's like someone is watching you. And it is always either those weird pillars or, even worse, soldiers of the Church of the Observer. They just ugh, creep me out. Even I have to admit, I really look forward to seeing them leave this valley. Seems to work like last time. Remember what has brought you here. A past you may cherish or fear. Well, we don't really have another choice. We need to activate this tower. first arena fight. It was the first time I... Why show that? So what? Living on the street as a kid, at least I only had to care for myself, and I succeeded. How useless. The past neither helps nor bothers me. What do you see, Boji? Boji? Myself, 
as I once was. Oji, what did the mirror show you? Just my past. The time I witnessed the shockwave from afar. When Eri sent me away so I wouldn't be fossilized as well. And the time before he found me, when I was only a mere wolf, a slave to my instincts. Oji, don't let it get to you. You told me Ingla was a master of manipulation. Well, this is just another one of her weapons to control. Yes, you're right. This dwelling on the past rarely does good. What a weird mirror. The past is just the past. Why should that interest anyone? Did you know, in Fjeldalen, lives a clan that prays and honors wolves as guardians of their mountains? Huh? These people, they're a bit naive, but pure. They believed the moon to be the mother of all wolves. And when the wolves cried out to her, those cries were like a prayer to the moon for peaceful times. So now, when the clan hears the wolves howl, they will join in to also show their respect to Mother Moon. Since centuries, they honor wolves as holy animals. Can you still howl, Boji? I can, but I don't do it anymore. It seems so... feral. Does it? <laughs> you... You really suck at this. <laughs> <laughs> Farin. <laughs> Thank you. I really brought the mood down, huh? No harm done. But glad to hear you sounding more like yourself again. See the path that waits for you. A future that always will come true. My future? to go back to that. myself, lose control, that could be my future. But don't try to claim the possible to be the irrevocable. Farron, that mirror lied. But the other two... What would make the third more believable than when the others spoke true? What it showed was not our future, but instead what we feared it could be. But Farron, those fears make us who we are. And because of that, those futures won't come true. I will never become a mindless beast, because every day I work to prevent it. And you, now you have me by your side. And believe me, I've watched you grow since the moment I revived you. You're not the Farron anymore that just wants to leave, that shies away from responsibility. And I could not be prouder. I was completely stuck there. It seems now it's my turn to thank you, Boji. And you were right, Farron. We will make her pay, Ingla. Boji? Do I hear you right? I'm sick of her little mind games. It's time to show her what happens when you try to harm a wolf's pack. <laughs> Lead the way, Alpha. Let's play again like 
meant for those fools. For that meaningless duel. I never got to show them. But let's see what you think of my little surprise. Talk about a sore loser. Uh, Boji, that sounded really bad. I know. Whatever she did, it won't be good for us. So this is what her chamber really looks like. It's a bit sinister, I must say. Sinister? I'd call it plain miserable. She probably completely forgot what real life looks like. No use in dwelling around. Let's leave. Somewhere here should be a convergence. Another mirror. Well, we can't really activate it. You're right. This is a bit... Whoa! Never have imagined the Acreans would forget their origin. But centuries can do much to a culture, especially if it is forced to change. That would make the Golden Order, the Black Claw Clan, everyone descendants of the Acreans. Maybe if they saw this, if they knew, the fighting would stop. They could leave the valley in peace and tell their leaders. Would it change anything? Even if they... No. We are all one and share the same blood and origin. But this doesn't mean all fighting would cease. Look at the Elysine. At Ingla. And the three cultures of Black Claw Clan, Golden Order, and Church of the Observer have been preparing for war for a long time. Maybe you're right. Maybe this wouldn't be enough. But for me, this is hope. Maybe someday... Someone can help them find their path back to one another. Since in their core, they are the same. That's a hope I want to believe in. This... is what Ingla did? A freaking flux storm? But... no. There's more, isn't there? I feel... Shinon. There is. Ingla threaded it well into the wind. I wonder why. I don't want to know what this means for us. We'll have no choice but to continue and find out. Stay on edge. As if there is a time where I am not. 
I know you want to see Ere soon, Boji, but I'm not sure. Can't be prepared for the unexpected, I know, but I can sure try. How could I not be, after everything? Step back a bit, please. Behind me, so you don't get hurt. Hurt? All right. I trust you, Father. You know what you're doing. Ooh, that's a long way up. I understand why you didn't go outside often. Scaling this thing looks already exhausting, and we haven't even started. Never noticed, really. Well, now that I think about it, I spent far too much time racking my brain over Eri's books. But learning to read was hard, trust me. Especially when you always accidentally rip the pages. <laughs> oh, I know how hard it is. How does it feel, coming home? I... it doesn't really feel like home. For me, it was a safe place because of Harry. And now I don't even know what to think anymore. You will have a home again, Boji. Be it here or somewhere else. Thank you. Think we're there soon? I imagine this would be the easy part of our journey. Don't worry. We'll be at the top soon. And then... Then we'll revive him. I am... not sure how I feel about meeting Harry. Me neither. We will stand up to those feelings. We will. Barry. Hmm. He isn't as tall as I imagined. That's because he wanted to be the linking joint between Acreans and LSC. He started changing his form, slowly, over the years. So, he had a spirit stone. Was prepared for all this. You do it. Huh? Revive him. I can't. My head isn't clear. All right. Possibility to save me. I do not want it. My time, the time of the Elysian and the Acreans, is over. A new one has begun. Come uh, here, please. Thank you for looking after Boji. Please continue to be his friend. With this, you are free. Both of you are. And I... I will become part of the land I love so much. It is. I don't know how I'll feel in a few years, but 
This valley needs someone who will protect it, now that there is no barrier. What are you planning on? Oh, you know, the usual stuff. Throw out the remaining stragglers, climb up mountains, explore some more. Just do what the valley needs. Since now, I feel it. And I will look out for spirits who haven't made it into the flux. So many died in that storm. Are you going to visit me now and then? Of course. We are a pack, after all. <laughs> and what keeps you? The world waited long enough to get to know you. Thank you, Farron West. No, oh, thank you, Bodhi. You taught me so much. But now it is time for me to stand on my own two feet. I wonder, what are you going to do when you're free to write your own story? <laughs> I can only imagine it being remarkable. Just... Be happy, Oji West.